I, I just said, other than the Warrior win, this is our best win, I thought. I mean, I, they played so well. That was a hell of a basketball game. I mean, I'm sure you guys watching it understand that. I mean, that was a hell of a game, a lot of back and forth. And we finally got a little space in the fourth quarter. But that was a, uh, that was a hell of a basketball game. And, and a look you got to give them a lot of credit coming off five games out west and coming here from Utah on Friday. That is uh, that is a really tough scheduling thing. And so maybe they ran out of gas a little bit too. But all I know is our guys got down, I think, double figures in the second half. Yeah, and just kept playing, kept fighting, kept staying with the game. It was a game of a lot of runs. And uh, I was really proud of our guys, especially the way they shot the ball early in the game. My God. Their attempts under control? Well, yeah. Uh, we made some mistakes and we're getting two guys on the ball a little bit too much and they were able to throw the ball back. I also thought we probably went under on too many handoffs and things. That hurt us. Um, and our closes weren't as good as they could have been. I thought our guys made good adjustments in the second half. Was it just a case of as many threes as they shot in that first half? Was it just a case of your three starting to fall and you getting those better looks from that bench group in the second half? Well, I, I don't know about that, it, but we got our we got their defense a little bit under control. I mean, they shot under forty percent in the second half, and um, you know we're two for fourteen from three, so we cut down their attempts and they didn't make as many. I thought we were up on them a little bit better. Um, and, and again, I'm taking nothing away from our guys because I'm that's as proud as I've been of them all year, but. You know, the schedule in this league sometimes catches up to you, man. And five games out west and coming from Utah, um, I think that had something to do with their, uh, their three-point shooting in the second half, too. Big confidence boost for Luke to be able to have a game like this and shoot well, see the ball go in. Yeah, see the ball go in, but that's not even what we were. I mean, and I think you, his teammates will tell you the same thing. I mean, that's not even um, what we were really happy with with him. I mean, he had the great contest at the rim where he went up and got vertical. He came in as the low man on a rotation on um, on uh, white side going to the rim. He got five defensive rebounds. He was in the battle tonight. And, and we know or had great confidence when we drafted him that his offensive skills are there. So whatever time it takes to adjust to the NBA. But what you want to see is a guy's competitiveness and toughness. You know, and I said on draft night, like, he didn't guard a lot last year. And so to see that tonight, to me, I mean, I'm glad the ball went in. We wouldn't have won probably if he didn't make those six buckets, but that was the least of it. I mean, I know he'll be able to do that. He was in the battle, and I don't know how many straight minutes he played in the second half, 17 or 18 straight minutes. You know, so – he, could, he wasn't fresh. He was just in the battle fighting his butt off. I mean, I, I was really, really happy. I was happy with everybody, but really, really proud of him. The, uh, when you're down 11 and Avery hits that one triple and then Winslow comes down and dunk up and then Avery hits the transition triple. I mean, to, it was a game of runs, but to get back in at that quickly at that time seemed important. I mean, sometimes you need a little luck, Keith, and, and – uh, we had nothing to do with Winslow missing the dunk, you know. I mean, it, it just, he missed it, and um, and we went the other way. So it was tremendous. The the way the California trip ended is something that's kind of bothered you leading up to this point. But for you guys to end this five-game homestand, end it the right way, is this kind of the next step you wanted to see? I'll tell you what, we did a great job here. And now you just move on to the next challenge, you know. I mean, now 9 of 11 on the road. Um, the next three games on the road against teams you beat at home. Um, so, you know, they want back at you. So the challenge is just keep mounting. But, you know, you put wins in the bank, you know, to, uh, you know, because you know there's going to be, I don't know when, but there's going to be tough stretches in the season. So um, you put wins in the bank. And our, our guys, I mean, on this homestand did a hell of a job. And uh, two games in a row where we finished really well. So the other night we give away a big lead. And then we finish well. And tonight we come back from double figures and then finish really well down the stretch. Um, so, uh, yeah, really, really proud of them tonight. And um, it's also a huge win. Anytime you you go from Sunday to Wednesday without playing, you got to win that game. That was the other problem with the Laker game. You're coming home. 
you play on a Tuesday, you got Wednesday, Thursday off before you play, and what's in your what taste in your mouth is the freaking Laker game. And so tonight, you go from Sunday to Wednesday, and the taste in your mouth is this game. So I can go out to dinner tonight with my son and my wife and enjoy it. That's what's important about this game right here. Someone had that collision with waiters in the first half. He d- didn't seem to be as peppy, maybe, as he had been. Was there any residual? I, I think Andre's energy level um, the last couple of games I don't think has been as high as it was before. But if you look, he's the one guy we've, we've really loaded up on minutes, especially since John's been out. And um, so I think the day off tomorrow will, will help him a great deal because um, – You know, we've loaded up the minutes on him, even tonight, and we didn't even play him down the stretch, right, because they went small. He still put in 36 minutes, so um, not an easy thing. And and, and Tolliver did a hell of a job tonight to come in and play at the five. We haven't even practiced him at the five, but without John, and they're going small, James Johnson, you know, uh, and partially with Olenek. So, yeah, I, I just a lot of guys really stepped up and did a good job. Stan, with um, Tobias Lezian scoring again tonight, but the 14 made threes for him over the last three games, I know that was a, something you had asked of him in the offseason, like more perimeter shooting, the shooting without hesitation. How valuable has that been for you guys? Well, it's been good. And, and look, I know what's going to happen, right? People are going to get up on him and take that away. You saw it on one closeout late in the game. The problem is the strength of Tobias's game is driving the basketball. So if you're going to have to close hard on him, you're going to have a hard time playing him off the dribble. And that's one of the things we talked to him about. I, I thought last year, and even in the preseason, some this year, he was not making people close on him. And so people were closing short, and he was driving the ball back into them. Well, you can contain his drive. Like, you've got to shoot every rhythm three. And then they're going to have to either live with you making that shot or they're going to have to close hard, in which case – He's a very, very tough guy to play off the dribble. So, um, you know, it, it, he's, he's not an easy guy to guard. And, and I think shooting the three without hesitation, I don't think he's going to shoot 50% from three for the year. I think he can shoot high 30s, low 40s, though. That's still a damn good percentage from three that's going to make people think about how they have to play him.